Hey, 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 Royal folks. Welcome back to Untold Royal Secrets. This is Ben, and this is where secrets and controversy meet the truth. Today, we have a story that has ignited and an intense debate and speculation, the alleged blaming of Queen Elizabeth's death for the career failures of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Buckle up as we delve into the details and dissect the repercussions. I know you guys are excited to hear more about this, but before we move on to any further details, guys... If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now and also don't forget to press the all important bell icon. So according to renowned biographer Angela Levin, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's media empire is on the verge of crumbling down. Levin suggests that the couple's value in the industry has significantly diminished and their future projects in media are predicted to be nothing short of a disaster. While the Sussexes did face a setback with their deal with Spotify, they still have an active agreement with Random House Netflix and Megan's signing with talent agency WME. However, a new reporter has emerged claiming that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle attribute their career failures to external factors. The Daily Mail reported that the couple believes outside forces, including COVID, economic downturns and the deaths of Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth have hindered their attempts to establish themselves in the entertainment industry. Now, let's examine the timeline of events to better understand the context. Shortly after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped back from their royal duties, the world was hit by the devastating COVID-19 pandemic, which led to global lockdowns and widespread economic challenges. The timing could not have been more challenging for the couple as they embarked on their new path. Now, just a month after their widely discussed interview with Oprah Winfrey, where they expressed their grievances towards the royal family and made claims of racism, the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, tragically passed away at the age of 99. This event undoubtedly shifted the media's attention and overshadowed any further developments in the Sussex's careers. Now, in August 2022, Meghan Markle launched the Archetypes podcast with Spotify, but unfortunately, its potential success was dampened by the subsequent passing of Queen Elizabeth the following month. The loss of such a revered figure undoubtedly had a profound impact on the public's attention and shifted the narrative away from the Sussex's ventures. It was also recently announced that Spotify and the Sussexes decided to part ways and the Archetypes podcast will not be renewed for a second season. Executives at Spotify even went as far as labelling the couple as lazy, further exacerbating the challenges they face in the media pursuits. So, what do you guys think about the news? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let us know what you think. That's all for today's shocking exposés, guys. We'll see you in the next one.